I've been told that this is the best silo ever. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. How's the Goham fam today? Guys, if you're watching this day of, just a quick heads up, we are two weeks away from our, well, the return of live streams. Uh, started kind of taking a little bit of the summer off of live streams, just to kind of give myself a little bit of time. Uh, <laughs> I, I love doing YouTube. I do it all the time, every single day, all day long. Ask the moderators, they know. But unfortunately, in order to get content out like that, sometimes I have to sacrifice a few things. One of those things, unfortunately, was live streams. But we're going to be returning everything. We'll be getting back to normal on August the 18th. We're going to be doing some fun stuff, uh, doing a couple giveaways, stuff like that. We're going to have a good time. I want to get back to you guys and be like, hey, I missed you. I'm so sorry. I will never leave you again. Here we are. So two weeks from today, get hyped up. We're going to do it at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I understand that that's going to be a little late for a lot of people around the world, but that is the only time that that's our time slot we've got a whole lot of other youtubers um two to name uh, we got of course virtual farmer he always streams about 3 p.m eastern time my time um and then of course you've got simulation for the nation who streams about two hours before then all all good friends of mine and so i want to make sure we don't step on anybody's toes and so we have our 6 p.m slot and from then on out we'll be streaming every sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We may add the Fridays back in, but when we were doing Fridays, I didn't have a Friday event. I, I didn't work on Fridays. I work on Fridays now. It's it's kind of difficult to get it in there and uh, and do uh, do streams on Fridays, but just soon enough. Soon enough, we'll be going full-time. Heck, we'll stream seven days a week after that. Who knows? I don't even know. Let's get this back down. So this silo works exactly like the other silo, the one we posted yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go check out that video. I'll leave a link to it. But we just got it back up here. There we go. I think it said it holds like a million liters, something like that. Yeah, definitely holds some. So there's that. Now, I think this will, yeah, we can hold silage in here. How's about this? Let's back in and let's see just how much we're getting. I don't even know if we're going to be getting anything. I mean, the time is set to zero right now. Do keep that in mind. All right, so we can get grass out and no silage is available yet. Oh, that's cool though. So we could get the grass back out after we put it in. That is neat. So this is a Papa Smurf mod, really cool mod. What I will do, I will also leave a link to this mod in the description below. Thank you, Big Daddy, for sending that to me. Big Daddy hit me up, he said, DJ, 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 DJ. You can't do it like that. You got to do it like this. Big Daddy's always right. I just fight it sometimes. And so we have, uh, we've gone back. Uh, see, we just took our time to time zero. Let's go ahead and speed that back up times one. So we've still got 100,000 liters in here. However, we got 3,000 liters in here. I don't know how that happens. No clue, but it is what it is nonetheless. So let's get a few things. Don't turn it off. Let's get a few things put kind of in in its place. We got to sell a few things today and I got to buy a few things. It has come to my attention that we have a lot of money. Oh yeah, we got 3.3.4 million dollars. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy some stuff. Oh yeah. Let's jump in here. There's a couple things that I know we need to get straight off the bat and there's a couple things I'm like, yeah, I really just want that. First things first, we're going to go into trucks. We're going to get something a little bit older right here the d754 i want this for the seed tender i really like it for the seed tender so we're gonna get it for the seed tender let's see let's go into what are you, main color right now ah, it's a it's a red thing isn't it you know what let's just give this the fent colors here so let's go with a fent nature green right there rim color oh you know what color it's gonna be fent red right there oh i love it design color see would this look better red no it would not would it look better fent nature that still does not look quite right, does it? How's about we go in here with Onyx? Onyx looks great. Design, um, I don't think we're going to do any of these designs. Nope, they all look terrible, at least on this color. And then attachers, we want fifth wheel. Is that what we want? Yes, we do want the fifth wheel. Let's purchase $62,000. That ain't bad at all. So we got that. That is the first thing that I want to get. Double check, make sure everything's good out there. Yeah, let's hop in it and let's hook up to the seed tender. Now, seed tender's right over here. It's on a trailer. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the trailer, and then I'm just going to sell the trailer. Because, well, we don't need the trailer anymore. And I think the trailer can hook up to the back. Eh, it might be able to hook up to the back of this. We'll see. Let's just pull it by right here. Hit left down on the uh, stick. Boom. This is my favorite seed tender truck. This truck is great. It does a whole lot of, well, pretty much everything. All right, so we can't get it, so we need to go in here and delete. So we just need to find it. There's so much stuff. We have used this for everything. Come on, seed tender trailer. Where yeah, There you are. Transport trailer. Get rid of it. Boom. Just like that. So now we have a full-time seed tender. Last time we used this, Old Farm Countryside. It has been a hot minute since we used this, but we've got it. It is good. I'll set this to the side because we've got some more stuff to get. So that's that. Next thing is, well, let's jump in because we're going to go into not wheel loaders, cars. See, the Dually came out not long ago, and I love the Dually, and I think it's great. However, there's another truck that a lot of people are just, they just want to see it. It's on PC right now. It's not for console. Uh, my understanding is that it may be coming to console eventually. Uh, I do not have any official information of that. I know there's some other people that have been saying that it is. So I don't know if it is or not. I just know it's a nice truck. So we're going to go boom, boom, orange, black design. Let's see. We're going to do a short, short bar in the back and let's go with fifth wheel oh you know it let's go with a little off-roader and i'm gonna stick i think that's what i want right there perfect so we're gonna buy that now we need a trailer so i need to go into bailing technology because i need a trailer that's going to be able to transport bells and that kind of thing here we go the fifth wheel boom right there black color black color i think that'll work just fine let's purchase that so now oh yeah now we've got, I do like the way this truck sounds. That's a good sound of truck. Let's see if we can back in here and get this thing to hook up. Got it. Is it hooked up properly? That's the question. Let's see. So, oh yeah, I forgot. So this is the bell version, so I can't put anything on the back of it except for uh, bells and pallets and that kind of thing. I wonder. Can... I think you guys know what I'm go where I'm going with this. Yeah, I mean, you 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 knew that I was gonna do it. It just you didn't think I'd actually do it. Do it. Also, we got some new stuff. Yeah. So what we've got is we have the Fent 900. I went for the four or the 43, the 943, and we've also got oh three meter tracks. By the way, we got another three, the Fent 313 with Nokians. Yeah, we got road tires on here, communals, baby, and we've got a front loader for it. And nice Fent Red Pallet Forks. Perfect. These are going to be for the other farms. So we've got two farms. I know you know this, but we've got two farms. I want to jump in here real quick because I want to move this. Actually, we need to get that moved as well. Oh, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> what if we got a... You know what? Let's get a tractor. Eh, not a tractor. A trailer. And let's pull the 300 with... Oh, yeah. The 900. Let's do that. All oh, those forks look really bad on here. I hope I get used to that look because that's nasty. <laughs> let's get in here. Let's find ourselves a low loader that's going to work. Could go with this. Uh, let's see. Can we do a full fent color with this? Oh, what if we can? Yes, we can. Oh, do we go with this or not? Oh, I don't know. Um, sure, why not? How, how expensive is it? 5200? That'd be all right. Let's get this. Let's pull this away. So I did this for a reason. We've got too much money. Yep. <laughs> too much money. That's a good reason to do just about anything. All right. So we got that. Oh, really? It turned it off. <laughs> good job. Let's back this in. Put it here. So I want to build a second farm. Uh, I keep having to bring stuff over from the main farm over to here. I know way, way back when I said, yeah, I'm only going to do one farm. It's, it, we're doing more than that. We're doing... All right, right now we got two. We might do a third. Who knows? Let's get this just about right on there. Yeah, I'd say that'll do. So let's pull this away. Let's get this taken over to the other Fent Farm. So we've got two in particular. One Fent Farm is going to host all of the uh, all the tractors that are like green and red. Normal colors, just like this. The other one, that's hosting all the ones that are just all over the place. Again, we've got plenty of money. I mean, we could do a one-to-one -one different tractors. I'm thinking more like newer stuff over here. 
and trying to go as old as we can with the other side. Um, speaking of, there is a Fent 300 in testing right now. I hope it's an older one, or either that, or I hope it's one that I can turn blue, that like diesel fuel blue that we've got a couple of our tractors. I really, really like that color, and I wish I could do it to more of them. It's like, I like the red, I like the green. That's what made me fall in love with Fent in the first place. And then the blue came along, and I'm like, I I love that blue. That is my new favorite color, like, forever. Let's get this here. So we've got a couple over here already. We've got the 1050, and we've got the 1100 series. Let's go and get this back down. So we've got those over here already. We're just going to start building. Slowly but surely, we're just going to slowly start building the collection right here. Speaking of, I think this is a good spot for it, as long as I don't forget that it's actually there. Also, I have removed the cheats area thing from the launch window of Farming Simulator 19 on Steam, and yet I'm still running fast. So I've got to hit up our good buddy Clutch and figure out exactly what's going on with that, because I don't actually know how to fix it. And that makes me look bad, but it is what it is. I just don't know how to fix it. Oh, this would look awesome in blue. All right, sorry, back to uh, back to normal. <laughs> Let's put this here. Cool, so what do we have? Well, we're in the middle of the walls, aren't we? We've got 900, we've got the 1100, we've had the 1100, you guys have seen that. Of course, we got the 1050 as well over here. Now we've got a 300 series. Okay, okay, well, what about over at the other farm? Oh, we've got the 700 series right here. And let's see, we've got a couple more over here somewhere. Some of this stuff needs to be moved. And we've got another 900 series right here, as well as two of these, two 500s. So we've got the 515 and a 510. I really like these, especially being able to do orange for whatever reason. I love being able to do that orange. You may have seen this over here. Oh yeah. As soon as we get back, we gotta get these eggs sold so we can bring them back and actually give the chickens a place to put their eggs. But this manure is coming out of here. Manure? Manure. It's it's poo. Well, it took a minute, but we are all loaded up here. So we're using the Black Sheep modding the um, fifth wheel hitch trailer that came with the Dually Pack. Now, if you guys are using pallets or anything like that with these instead of just normal bales, this is how I recommend doing it. Do one side straight up and down like one way and then do the other side long ways. They fit absolutely perfect on here. As a matter of fact, we had too many pallets. Now to put them on top, but you could fit, let's see, what's that? Six down one side and four on the other. So you can fit 10 total. Is that 10? Yeah, 10 pallets on there on the bottom. And then another two on the top. Since we're using 12 of these, <laughs> wait, is my math right? I feel like my math's not right. That's definitely six. And that's definitely four. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is. I have not looked to see the pricing for eggs. All I know is that we need to get these out of here because we're wasting money by not having any room for the eggs. This is a whole lot, by the way. I believe each one of these is 2,400 liters in each of these pallets. 2,400 times uh, 12, whatever that is. There you go. You guys don't let me do math on screen, so I just don't. I just, I'm not even trying anymore. I'm just not going to do it. One thing I have noticed is when you've got trailers like this and you've got pallets um, that you have to do that are not even with the entire thing. So, for example, the two that we have on top, just put them over the axle. And you'll be just fine. Now, of course, the more you've got, the more you need to spread out from that middle point. But just put them over the axle. You'll be fine. Everything will be weighted perfectly. If anything, have them just a little farther forward if you have to have them more forward or back. So I'm a little bit more forward, at least to have a little bit of weight on the uh, truck right there. All right, hopefully this entire thing goes. There's $90,000 in eggs. Goodness gracious, another 24. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. All right, so it looks like there's a couple that are going to do that thing where they don't do what we want them to do. So we're going to have to hold it over. <laughs> there we go. $12,000 off of one pallet. Okay, all right. There we go, just need to get it over. There's another one, drop it, and then pick this one up, I think. About right there, there we go. Nice. So there's our, uh... <laughs> there's our total, oh goodness gracious. Let's lock everything down. 
All right, so when we take this back, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm just going to shove this trailer in there, and it'll load however it loads. I'm, I don't really care. <laughs> We've, what is this, episode like 42 or 43 on here on Peterville? I think we're okay regardless of what we do. So let's get this taken back. Uh, let's get the Scarrick put away. I'm not sure where we're going to put it because we already have a truck, so we have two of these now. But we're going to keep both because we have too much money to get rid of anything is what it is. Good problem to have. Let's put it away because we've got manure to get rid of. Here's the plan. We are going to bring in two different semi tra Oh, we can't bring these in here, can we? Come on, man. I'm about to do something that I do not recommend you do, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go into this and uh, yeah, we're going to lower the ground right here so that I can get this truck in here. So sculpting, brush strength, bring that down just a little bit, eh, a little bit more. It is going to go under just like that. Yep, and let's smooth the area around it out. So <laughs> it's, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, again, I, I can't stress how much you should not do this. Is that enough? We're gonna have to go more with it. Oh, <laughs> it worked. Holy crap, it worked. <laughs> no, that's making holy crap. <laughs> We're, uh, it's a bad joke. So that's one semi in here. It's. Can, do we need three? No, there's no way. I mean, I'm cool with it. I'm just saying, I don't think we needed to put three in here. We got money. We could buy another one. I don't know what color we would paint it, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's see. Let's get this about right here. Go and get it open. Bring it right here. <laughs> Can't believe that works. <laughs> and put it right there. Do we have enough room for a third? You know, I almost feel like we wouldn't be, uh, we'd do ourselves a disservice if we didn't have a third one in here. Oh yeah, we went all black with it. I was on, uh, I was watching movies yesterday. I was watching like every single Fast and Furious movie, or at least as many as I call. Don't tell me we can't get this in here. Come on. I just, I did all this for nothing. Come on, mate. Oh, really? Uh, probably because I have to like pull in. Ugh, fine. Uh, so I was watching all the Fast and Furious movies yesterday and, uh, it was on FX or something like that, and I remember one of the uh, one of the movies. I think it was the seventh one had a big black van. I was over there buying. It. I was like, "Oh yeah, let's get an all black one. That'll be cool." Boom! Right there. <laughs> is this is this too much? Is this uh? Let's go and open that straight through the poo. Yeah, right, right where we want it. This is, this is just something else right here, <laughs> but it's going to work. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this thing maneuvered, put in the right position, et cetera, et cetera. Drop it down. I would say let's put this on zero miles per hour, but I, yeah, see, we get, we get that jitteriness going on. <laughs> All right, is it too fast? Yep, yep. <laughs> it's too fast. Zero miles per hour, not fast at all, is too fast for this. So this is, uh, this is gonna take us a hot minute. Let's go ahead and get it done. It's not gonna take that much time, but we just gotta get it done. There's so much manure here. Like I said, I wanna do, hold it over. Let's see, is the manure going down? Uh, it said there's like half a million liters, or not, not half a million, but quite close to half a million liters. Let's see what we can do about getting all this manure up. Well, that was fun. <laughs> See if we get this stuff backed around actually dumped in. I think this one probably has the most in it. So what we're gonna do is instead of dumping this one out, we're gonna set this one up, I think right under, or at least we're gonna attempt to set it up, right underneath the fill trigger so that we can fill up 
as others are dumping. Now, the problem is it's pretty close to the front. So I don't know if we can actually do this or if it's just going to take some... Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I'm not even going to try anymore. Boop, I'll put that right there. Let's go over here. We're going to see. We had 140,000 liters in that one. This one's got 114, so it's not as many. But it's still quite a bit. Let's see if everything will dip under perfect. Yeah, yeah. That was, like, I'm not sure that we could have gotten any more close to it not working than that. Because that worked perfect. Back this around. Again, we need just get all this dumped in there. By the way, that took almost eight minutes in real time. I think you guys probably saw it in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Let me know if it looked cool. Especially the cow going through the cheese grater right there at the end. That was awesome. So I would say both of these silage silos have enough time to, well, they've had pretty much the exact same amount of time to do what they need. So we got 175,000 liters of grass and 19,000 liters of silage. Okay, 19,000 liters of silage, got it. What is this one at? 4,500. Loser! Oh yeah, loser indeed. Oh, uh, don't we have a semi truck around here? Yeah, right here. We're gonna go ahead and dump this into the BGA, see what we can do. Hopefully we get a tip. Come on, get a tip, get a tip. Any tip, tip, yes! Oh, nope, there it was. Back up. No, we missed it. Okay, we got it. Guess we're gonna dump here on the ground. Don't push, don't push, don't push. Yes, all right, this should not take long because the unload tip is massive on there. Do we fill it up? What? There's no... We did! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. That is... Uh, well, it's everything we needed to do today. We will be doing some more stuff with Peterville throughout the weekend, the weekend, depending on what's coming out. Also, keep in mind, if you guys are watching Day Of... Oh, I went on the wrong side. That we will not have any new mods or farm sim news videos this coming Tuesday, August the 6th. I'll be moving into my new house that day. And, uh, well, I will have no time to do anything. But, with all that being said, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If not, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you got anything you want to see, any ideas, let me know. For Peterville or any other map for that matter. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.